Hurricane Julio has been downgraded to a Category 2 storm and is now predicted to miss the Hawaiian Islands. That is good news for residents dealing with heavy rain dumped by tropical storm Isel. CBS 2's Began Shaban reports now from Hawaii's Big Island. The storm sent trees crashing onto this house on the eastern part of Hawaii's Big Island. You were actually trapped in your house for a little bit? Yeah. Matthew Polito was home with his girlfriend and seven-month-old daughter. I was in the kitchen uh, making dinner, and then I just heard a big crash. Um, hit the house, shook the house, and um, the power went out. The storm came ashore in the early morning with 60-mile-per-hour winds that brought down trees and power lines. Thousands of homes were left in the dark. Heavy rains triggered flash floods. The Maluku River rose more than 13 feet in just 12 hours. Ben and Paul Kohler are vacationing from Maine. We had to swim across the river with our backpacks on since the river is swelled up. You can't just walk across it like normally. Ahead of the storm, hundreds of people filled area shelters, including this one at Hilo High School. Isel is moving north and west, dumping even more rain on the rest of the Hawaiian Islands. A second storm, Julio, a Category 2 hurricane, is now expected to weaken and miss the state by a couple hundred miles. Even though Julio's forecast is to the north, to keep an eye on it. Despite the weather, the state's primary election will go on as planned tomorrow. Candidates suspended their campaigning today as the islands rode out the storm. In Hilo, Hawaii, Begat Japan, CBS 2 News. And the last time Hawaii was hit with a hurricane or tropical storm was in 1992. That is when Hurricane Iniki killed six people and destroyed more than 1,400 homes in Kauai. For the very